Man, this is this is too rich for my blood, bro. Alright everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is D-Free and today's video is all on Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel. This is a brand new mobile slash gacha game based around Yu-Gi-Oh! I have already kind of uh, played through the content you're going to see for the rest of the video after this intro portion, but I actually really enjoy it, man. It's a lot of fun. It's an entirely different take on the game. So to play this game, I had to go ahead and change my region over to... Uh, if the Philippines, no, the Netherlands, excuse me, uh, and then I was able to play it. So the game is not out worldwide yet, so if you want to just download an APK, if you can find one, things like that, maybe you change your, like I said, your store region over to the Netherlands. I think it's in Canada and Hong Kong as well right now, uh, but that's about it. It's not out worldwide, but I assume it will be within the month or a month or two. This is a very common thing if you're new to Gashas. A lot of times they do soft releases and kind of bring it out in waves to not overload the servers, things like that, but Pretty much that's what's happening here. I mean, you know it's coming soon because there are already microtransactions available. The game is pretty much fully voiced as well, so they're not going to let this game sit on the shelves uh, too long. It's going to get it's gonna get released. It's not like it's some random IP either. It's freaking Yu-Gi-Oh. It's going to get popular. It's going to be successful to a degree anyway. I don't know if it can compete with the other Yu-Gi-Oh titles, which they recently launched another Yu-Gi-Oh title, so it's kind of funny to see this one coming out as well sometime soon thereafter. Nonetheless, though, Cross Duel is a fun game, uh, but like I said, it is a gacha game, so I'm going to start off by showing you guys some pulls that we did, and then we're going to play a game, but what you need to know about the way that the game plays is as follows. This game, as you see, you can already see, it's very different. Just throw out any notion you have of Yu-Gi-Oh for the most part out of your mind because it's not going to play like that. This game has uh, six zones, right? Well, six zones and uh basically three different lanes for the most part it kind of diverges but anyways um so you play monsters okay when it comes to building your deck your deck is a 20 uh card deck there are no duplicates in your deck whatsoever okay uh your monsters are all you guessed it normal monsters i mean there are clearly monsters that should have effects here or things of whatever the case is but they don't have that okay yeah as you see here there's also a freaking skill tree in this game it is so different like these are mechanics that are common in gacha games like skill trees and whatever but it's just so weird seeing it in Yu-Gi-Oh to me like on these cards individually it's so weird so there's that also this i was going to get into this in a minute but monsters can also equip skills they're normal monsters, but they can equip skills that do various things. Your ace monster can have different skills and things like that. It just, it kind of just depends, right? So there's a pendulum scale here one. So like things are different, but pretty much cards are basic. They have nothing on them. So you can already see where when it comes to those types of mechanics, where their design choice will be for monetization. Um, and like I said, your cards are 20 card decks. That's pretty much it. So every, every monster in there is just a basic monster. Now, like I said, there are three other zones, three for monsters and three trap zones. You can play traps and their effects activate whenever you meet the criteria. Uh, when it comes, this is still me updating uh, cards apparently. No, uh, when you meet the criteria, when it comes to spells, spells are activated during from your hand during the battle phase. There is no specific timing like quick play or main. You can't play them during the main phase. They activate during the battle phase. Every player throws out their spells. If you have multiple, you can use multiple. You go from there. Again, traps activate on the condition being met. So that's pretty much it. So we're going to start off, like I said, going over to the gacha. Actually, first, I want to see what their shop looks like. Um, yeah, see, there's not just crystals for sale. They have some other stuff going on here. That's what I want to see. You could trade cards. Obtain a new card by using duplicates. Trading for the card you want will consume a card of the same rarity. Okay. Are there five pieces to Exodia? Or is it just one? I'm curious. Look at the master skills. Blue Eyes destroys a monster, right, when you play it. Has these various skills it can actually obtain. Like, this is kind of what I'm talking about. But you can exchange cards. Okay. What's the trade rate? You don't have sufficient cards for this. Uh, you need four URs to uh, to get one, it looks like, on the bottom there. Okay. Weird, but okay. Certainly won't lead to more spending. It will. Uh, in the metal shop, you can spend uh, metals to get items and customize your monsters. Okay. Obtain metals by converting duplicates of your cards in your vault. Okay. So you get the materials you need to upgrade your monsters and all that stuff. Okay. 
So, and by the way, like, if you're new to the channel, I have no problem with spending. Like, I'm a big spender in some games. So, this game, it, it might wind up being <laughs> just from the model I can see here and the outline of what I'd expect in the future to come to the shop and stuff like that. This might very well be the most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh! game that they've launched. <laughs> which uh, is interesting to see. So, this game features raid bosses. They will not be in this video, but there are apparently co-op raid bosses, which is, like, so weird to think about when it comes, again, to Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and playing with monster cards and all that stuff. And then also they have tag dueling. That, that's more uh, co-op, uh, not co-op, excuse me, more uh, PvE content. We have the uh, ranked and casual matches as well. And then room matches would be just you sending a code to your friend type deal. Uh, it does feature the normal like missions and all that stuff that you can obtain. Get various things and also go ahead and do the gotchas. So you guys are going to see gotcha pulls and some gameplay from here. Hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. There should be some gift box stuff. There it is. 2,400 gems. Uh, okay. Let's see what that's worth. Um, okay. So we have this Exodia one. Uh, huge chance. After one time, is it paid only? Is this really paid only? It's definitely paid only. Yep, it's paid only. Okay. That's good to know. Starting off with a paid only gacha can purchase one of 15 awesome UR monsters. Huge chance within the first 72 hours of playing. This only exists for seemingly the first 72 hours. Yeah, only for the first 72 hours because uh, that timer up there is uh, specific to me. So, okay. Um, let's see what's even here. I mean, I'm not buying it, but okay. Yeah, okay. So, you, you have a currency filter up top. Okay. So, there's tickets. Here's this one. This is the release gotcha. Okay, where are the actual rates at? Uh, okay, 1% rate for an SR. Is that the highest rarity? No, you are. Okay. Uh, okay. 3.5, 6.59. So it looks like you only get three cards at once. Well, no, there's a draw times 10. I just was reading that wrong because I was trying to go through it pretty quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. We have two gotcha pulls worth. Some rainbows. Garbage. I like that slot machine look. Like it really gave me a choice. If you don't know these games, before they even play the animation, the second it takes your currency, it's already put these stuffs in your account. But the animation is irrelevant. The animation is just for glitz and glamour. Uh, so it doesn't look like I got anything good at all there. Oh, okay. I see how it is. When you obtain a card you already have, it goes in the vault. Duplicate cards can be exchanged for medals used in the metal shop. Traded for cards you don't have or used to unlock skills. Yeah. Okay. So every monster is pretty much going to be a normal monster. Uh, duplicate cards there. Some spells. These these cards are going to have different effects though, right? No, these are some of the same effects. Uh, not really. Yeah, traps are going to have different effects, I guess. Select one trap and return to the hand. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the gotcha. Let's do another one. Ooh, fancy look. Yeah, I could tell something was happening here. Yeah, all, all rainbows? Okay, so we're getting something in this one. Fancy, fancy. Uh, emergency teleport? Wow, that brings back memories. The teledad? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's fine. Ooh, okay. Ultra rare. Bloom Diva. Just feels bad. Like getting a UR, just normal monster, you know, whatever. Uh, they give you a recommended skill. Oh, okay. And the obtainable skills. Okay. That's... It's going to take some getting used to this. This is not a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Like, it's, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh game, but it's not, right? It's not even, like, less of a Yu-Gi-Oh! game to the extent, like, the speed duel format. This is an entirely different thing. That they can't, they can't even, like, unlike speed duel, they can't even make this format outside of this game. Because it's so reliant on these skills and stuff. It's just, I mean, you could, I guess, get tokens. But, like, no, it's just, it's not going to happen. That's not me hating on it. It's just, it's going to take some getting used to. 
Uh, so the recommended skill is if you use an effect to gain LP, all of your monsters gain defense equal to the LP gained. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't really know a ton of what I'm looking at. Select one of your monsters and teleport it to one of your empty monster zones. This is a very different effect from uh, the actual effect of the card, right? But that it actually even has this text on the actual card there, like it was the legit text. Anyways, uh, select one of your monsters and teleport it to one of your empty zones. That has awesome utility. Awesome utility. Which is the way the game plays, right? Sword and shield. Select one monster and switch it. Okay. So some of these are the same. Is this going to give 700? No. Super speed. Different effects. Boost movement speed. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. Some of these have the same effects, but a lot of them have different effects, apparently. Okay, let's go ahead and just do a single. Give me my garbage. We know. Cool. I see why it said three, though, because you get them in chunks of three is what it is. Uh, anyways, so that is it for the initial gacha pulls. So <clears throat> let's go back. Is there some gift stuff or what is this? More gems? Okay. Not sure where those came from, but I'll go ahead and do another gacha pull apparently. <laughs> I wonder if um, if in the shop they've got uh, like the skills for sale. I'm, I'm sure they'll. Ha if they don't, they will have them. Are you serious? You're gonna slide right off the rainbows? That's annoying. Super rare soprano, okay. Was that Ryukin? Yeah, it's my guy, Ryuku Field. All right, let's go ahead and go back. So we're gonna go ahead and just make an auto deck. Because I have no idea. You can choose a lot of cards to be an ace. <laughs> okay. They even give you a suggested deck. Okay, Dark Magician Girl. I don't have her. Where do I get her? Just the gacha, the regular gacha, right? Anyways. Uh, switch out cards you don't own. Okay. <laughs> that Yeah, the audio needs to be cleaned up a bit. This phone is good enough to play this game. If it's not, it would be the only game that's not... <laughs> this, this phone is not able to play. Uh, all right. Main phase of the first turn. But this is a very graphic heavy game. I will give it that. And I do have it on the highest possible settings. Um, so, what do I want to play here to begin? I'll go defensive right here. No, 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 no. Switch. Switch. Thank you. Uh, we'll play E Hero Avian here. And I'll call it. So, this is a full uh, PvP game. This is casual. But uh, should be all just real players. Maybe the, although there is a bot, there's two real players and a bot. Are you ready? Show I a okay. All right, so in this scenario, the goal is to make it all the way to, through to the center. Attack on G, HQ. At the start of the battle phase, all your monsters gain super speed. Oh, great. So they're going to steal the center card. I can't do anything about that. I don't have any traps. I need to read. I need to actually build my deck. Hopefully, it's nothing crazy, but in the tutorial, it was a freaking monster reborn. So, like, <laughs> who knows what that is? Yeah, his speed was so high. He got there so fast. Oh, he almost... Wow, he made it all the way across. Wow. Speed is no joke. Was that supposed to oh, okay. If that's how that works in this game. I knew it was good, but... That's a revelation. Okay. It's the main phase of the second turn. 
I'm already completely compromised because of that. Uh, I have to they deal with this now. So <laughs> yeah, I know. Please tell them to stop. It would be very nice of you, Kaiba. Please tell them to stop. I don't want to go all in yet. I can't go all in yet. Look at this. I'm literally compromised. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this, uh, that speed really ruined this match for me. Look at all the magicians. And by the way, the match ends when one player loses. So, what the heck does that do? Choose one lane to destroy all monsters. I was going to say, there's no way it destroys everything on the board. It's too powerful if it does that. So you can just eliminate a lane. That's cute. To be fair, I'm not mad at that, though. I would have preferred if it was the left one, I guess. But I'm not mad at that. Had to get that guy out of my way. I'm going to lose that by 100. Finally, they're battling other people. Other people than me. My goodness. I'm going to take more LP, but it's not very much. Yeah, I certainly need one. Okay, how's this going? Keep your eye on that lane. It's just one monster. Okay. Um I have no skills. Like, there's no point. <clears throat> I'm gonna go here. I need more monsters going to... This is like a strategy game, right? Like, it's very strategy... I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a strategy game, right? But it's a very strategy, like, uh... style game. I don't know what you... That's Utopia, right? I don't know what he does. Or if he even has the skill equipped. When destroying an opponent's monster, gain an attack debuff. What? Oh, loses 300 attack. That's cute. Enemy controller, huh? There's not any reason ever you stop def- No. Hold on. I'm gonna help that guy out. Go! Yeah. You're gonna switch to attack mode. Okay, I made it across to someone. I'm going to recover some. 500 is not bad at all. That guy's on his way to help me as well. And if he lands with the Utopia, he's going to pretty much eliminate this guy. Not really, but it'll be really close. Okay, now... I think now... I'm going to... I'm going to play that. I'm going to send reinforcements. I'd love to bring in the Dark Magician, but... I just don't want to give up two monsters. Especially with him having no skill, right? He's just a beat stick. Oh, great, another one. Oh, great, another one. At least he's not on my lane. You didn't defend against my attack? You chose... Well, to be fair, I guess it's smart to defend against a stronger monster. Thank you for some more LP. Does that put me in first? Yeah, it puts me in first. You kind of literally say you're in first. No! Okay. Might be time to bring in Dark Magician and help go down center aggressively. If I draw another monster to play anyway. Freaking stole first from me. He stole first from me by hitting me, by the way. Right? Is that what happened? Man, this is this is too rich for my blood, bro.
I'm out of everything. I have no cards, no monsters other than DM. We got to do it. I'm still getting hits directly, though. Wow, I think we win anyway. Because <laughs> he's... We all kinged up on Duelist too. <laughs> I didn't even realize that he couldn't defend anymore. This was done. But if I get the finishing blow, that, that'll that take me what to... No, I'll be in second place. There's Dark Magician. Third place, because Yuma. Castle Walls. Oh, yeah. What's that going to do? Pawn def defense position monsters. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't do anything, so... This is why I didn't want to play DM. He has two monsters on my lane, by the way. He finally defended against me. How cute. <clears throat> Is there no emotes? Feels like there should be emotes in this game. Emergency teleport. Ooh. What are you doing? It's like one of your monsters and teleport it to an empty zone. Okay. And goodbye. <laughs> we know Duelist 2 got last. I got third place, though, so I ain't, I ain't want to talk. Oh, so it still plays the turnout? That sucks for me. I mean, I got third regardless. So it still plays the turnout. It's interesting that that's actually a good thing that it plays the turnout because that'll really do some last-second shakeups. This result can't be considered a win. Shut up, Kaiba. <laughs> I didn't lose. <laughs> oh, I hardly got anything, huh? Got to play better, apparently. Trust points, okay? You're doing about as well as I expected. Some gems, nice. Okay. Well, that was the general gist of the game. Um, so... It's a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy it. It's a game that I want to continue to play. I'm just a little apprehensive about playing it too much just because I don't want to build the account now, get stacked. Then come to find out that like I can't like download my account on the regular app, which I assume will probably happen to be honest. Uh, things like that. This is I mean this is the regular app, but it's just for a different region. Like I want to use it on my regular store account and stuff like that. Um, but let me know what you guys think. It was a lot of fun nonetheless. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.